This is going to change the trajectory for our environment. And what's being called groundbreaking, a Toronto hospital and its partners have found an environmentally friendly way of heating and cooling its buildings. We're going to be uh, 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 drilling a hole here that's 35 feet wide, 165 feet deep, five feet below the Midtown Interceptor sewer, and uh, it's going to be uh, uh, allowing us to tap into the wastewater, which we will then use with our proprietary Huber technology uh, to then provide uh, heating and cooling to Toronto Western Hospital. Toronto Western Hospital is said to be home to the world's largest raw wastewater energy transfer system. Climate change is wreaking havoc on our environment and threatening our survival. Heating and cooling of buildings contributes over 31% of all greenhouse gas emissions. The wet system will take energy from the wastewater in the sewer and use that to provide heating and cooling to buildings. From that building, Clean water, uh, hot water and chilled water will be supplied to the hospital without any carbon emissions at site. We will be able to remove uh, 8,400 tons of carbon annually initially, 16,000 tons of carbon once we expand the project to be able to accommodate the expanding facilities. The project, a partnership between governments including the city, UHN and renewable energy company Noventa, was announced last year with the goal of also helping the region meet its climate change commitments. Fewer people will need to be admitted to the Toronto uh, hospitals, including University Health Network, because of projects like these. Climate change is likely the number one threat to the well-being of society and of human beings on the planet. Toronto Mayor John Tory, who was on hand as shovels hit the dirt this morning, says there are many opportunities to replicate this project elsewhere in the city, saying it's a win-win all around. This is the pioneer project of its kind at scale. I think in the end it will have a financial return, uh, which of course is going to be of interest to business, but it will also have a huge environmental return. Um, for the city and, and we're going to have to increasingly look at those kinds of, 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 of double or triple or quadruple uh, returns if we're going to meet our goals. Noventa says there are a number of similar projects underway at other public sectors that includes hospitals and universities. They're currently in the negotiation phase. An announcement is expected sometime in the near future. In Toronto, I'm Faiza Amin for City News.